person that doesn't want to hear doesn't want to hear. I'll give you a uh, joke that uh, teaches some Musa that I heard from Abba Ephraim, where there was a uh, a um, parrot, very expensive parrot, that uh, guy came want to uh, buy it for his wife, and he uh, paid ten thousand dollars for this parrot. So the uh, parrot came, you know, came to the house, and uh, as soon as the wife saw him, she came up. Oh, look at wow! He's so pretty, he's so cute. And the parrot, as soon as he sees this woman, he says, "Reshait, reshait, reshait! You're wicked, you're wicked." The woman's like, "Whoa, what happened here? You told him this?" He goes, "No, I just bought him. I have no idea. The, the husband, is, I bought you as a present." Wicked, 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 he tells the woman. She's like, oh, wow, okay. And then uh, the next day, she says, okay, maybe, I don't know, maybe he heard this from somebody. So the next day she comes, again, the parrot, wicked, wicked, wicked. Where's your clothes? You're immodest. Putza, putza. So this, this, the vocabulary of this parrot is a constant rebuke on this woman. So, of course, after a little time, the woman is sick of it. She says, listen, get this parrot out of this house. I don't want to hear somebody call me wicked all day, tell me I'm not uh, modest. Where'd you buy this parrot? He goes, I bought him a B'nai block. I don't know. I mean, let's say, uh, <laughs> I bought him from the religious neighborhood. That's where they sell him. She says, I don't want this in my house. Yeah, go get a different parrot. So, the guy takes the parrot, and he brings him back to the guy and he says, listen, uh, I need a different parrot. The guy says, I'm sorry, this is, this is an animal. There's no return policy here. I can't just exchange. I don't know what happened to him. I'm sorry, I can't give you a different one. You want a different one, you have to buy it. So the guy is thinking to himself, listen, I just spent $10,000 on this parrot. I can't just let him go. I can't return him. But I can't also return him back to the house like this. So what do you decide? He decides to paint the parrot black. He comes back home. And uh, he shows the way. He goes, here you go. I got you a new parrot. She doesn't know he painted it black. It looks like a new parrot. As soon as she sees the parrot, doesn't say nothing. Psh. The guy is happy. The parrot's quiet. Doesn't say nothing to his wife. The next day, nothing. The next day, nothing. After three days, the parrot doesn't say a single word. The guy sees his wife is not watching. And he comes to the parrot. He goes, hey. What happened to you? How come you don't talk? The parrot says to him, ever since they put a black suit on me, I don't talk to promiscuous women anymore. <laughs> so a person can take that and laugh and a person can also learn some Musar from it. Uh, you can learn Musar from everything, from jokes. You can learn Musar from uh, events in your life. You can